Hi, I'm Jeremy Lowe. I'm the director of agronomy for Trorby, and I've been doing design work, irrigation work, and tree care for 30 years. I have a degree from A&M in agronomy, and I wanted to take you through a few of the fall plantings you'll see a lot of as you're going in and out of nurseries and big box nurseries. And I wanted to give you some of our experience on these things. The first one that you're gonna see a whole lot of is just regular old garden mums. Now the one thing that we recommend that you don't do with a garden mum is plant it directly in the bed. And the, re the primary reason is it'll generally live all year, um, but it will only bloom in fall. And the rest of the year, it looks like a weed. Um, they're not very attractive um, and they don't usually last very long. They've got a real thin leaf. They're not super drought tolerant unless they're really well established. Um, and uh, what we normally use these for is for container planting, something that can be switched out um, as soon as the weather really gets cold and they stop blooming. The same goes for Dianthus. Dianthus can go year round, but summer and really cold winter, all you're gonna see is the green leaves. I use it for borders where when it's blooming, it's beautiful. When it's not, at least it looks organized. But if you plant Dianthus in the fall and expect that to be winter color, my experience has been that most of the time you're gonna be disappointed. Ornamental peppers and croton both fall into a, a category of something that looks really cool in the fall. As soon as it gets cold, they'll generally get smoked, especially the croton. As soon as we get a hard freeze, it's gone. So I think people like them for fall because they've got kind of a fall look to them, um, but they need to be protected. They need to be brought indoors when it gets cold. And generally we consider these like a two month color. Um, they're just there to make your place look attractive for fall. And again, work really well as container plantings, but planting these in the ground, you're gonna generally be digging them up in about a, uh, two months and they'll be dead. Um, Petunias are very popular spring and fall. That's because that's the time they, uh, they, they bloom the most profusely. You can get them to survive all summer if you're very careful, but you generally won't see any blooms. The same applies to fall. They'll look really good till about late October, early November when it starts getting cold. They can stand a light freeze or a light frost, I mean. Um, but once it gets into serious cold where it's below 32 at night, they will absolutely disappear on you. The, the, the leaves may stay up, um, I can't remember, but I know that I've never seen really nice blooming petunias all winter long. We use them as a temporary color when somebody's having a, a, a Thanksgiving party or something like that. So these are the ones you see the most. Of anything that I would spend my money on, Dianthus, Garden Mums, um, for something that might last a little while in the landscape, all of them are good for a temporary display like in a color container. Um, but the, the, the ones that are going to last the longest um, out in the outdoors are the Dianthus and the Mum. And of the two, the only one I would personally plant in the ground is the Dianthus. It's a little too early for me to show you the kind of color that we do recommend. Um, mostly during the winter time, it's going to be pansies and viola, cabbages, kales, things like that. I normally don't recommend that those get planted until after the second week of October. It depends on how, how, how early or late the, the cold weather's coming, but middle of October is a good um, kind of rule of thumb to start thinking about putting in fall and winter color if you're planting it in the ground. In containers, you can swap them out anytime. That's the beauty of a container is you can put, you can put six different displays in it a year. But as far as planting in your landscape, in the ground, Petunias, violas, um, they also tend to be prone to rabbits, but that's a conversation for another day. So anyway, we'll be producing more videos on this um, as we get closer to winter, showing you how you can keep your landscape beautiful all winter long.